Hi there. Welcome and thanks for stopping into your Cricut neighborhood. My name is Cheryl and today I'll be showing you how I created this teddy bear picnic layout. For this layout, I used Cricut Design Space with Cricut Access. All the cardstock used came from a 12 by 12 Essentials cardstock pack by Recollections. And the white came from the white cardstock pack, also from Recollections. All my papers came from my local Michaels store. I think this was one of my favorite layouts that I've created for you guys so far. It's, I, I'm going to do a little sneak peek here for you. Look at this little bear. Isn't she just sweet? She needs to be glued back together. So I, this is my second time recording this video. I had it complete and ready to go. Went to upload and something was wrong. So in order to, I worked on it for quite some time, but in order to get it going and get it looking the way I wanted it to, I decided it was best to just redo the video. So of course I don't want to waste all the beautiful papers. So I broke out my bottle of Undo and I took the whole thing apart. So that's where we are right now. We're ready to put it all back together. So, now that all the housekeeping and the disasters are done, let's get busy. So, this layout is a double page layout. It comes with four four by six photo mats. The 12 by 12 base layer is yellow pa pattern paper, and this came from a paper pad. Uh, called Cornflower Cottage. I've used this one a lot. And it's also from Recollections and also from Michael's. Uh, my, I chose this blue because it just, it represented the sky to me. Now I do have a Creative Memories cut trim, paper trimmer and it has two wavy lines on it. So I use that to trim my my border. So this border is actually cut at 12 by four and a quarter at its longest point. So when you measure it out, it'll just be four and a quarter on your cutter. And I only cut one and then I trimmed the second one, which is the complete opposite. You see it came out of there. And I used that one. So, and that's four and a quarter. So my adhesive is already on here. So I'm just going to re glue, re attach this one. So all I have to do is lay it down and it will stay, it will stay sticky. Everything that I touched right now is sticky. So that's our border. And then the rest of the layout, aside from our photo mats, was cut on our Cricut. And you'll see that as I go through, I always try and put the co same colors together as much as possible so that it cuts down on the amount of mats we have to use. Um, so that was, that was that. So let's start off with our grasses. Oh dear, so sticky. I gotta find places to lay stuff. So this is, <laughs> this is our grass. Now when I cut this, this is cut in two pieces. So we've got a teal grass, and then we've got our green grass with the flowers. Now I did ink along the edge of the green grass and I used Mowed Lawn Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. I only went along the edges and in between here. I didn't do the, the flowers. This is cut at 11 and a half, and it comes out at the tallest point 
when you cut at 7.234. Now, I didn't make up these numbers. <laughs> just I just put in 11 and a half, and that's what came up, and it works. So that's, that's great. So there's two of those. And then the bluegrass is also cut at 11 and... Not 11 and a half, it's 11.45. And then that gave me this. Now, I find that sometimes my numbers get changed just a little when I'm putting them in Design Space. So this one actually came out at, I wanted it to be four inches tall. So I put in the four inches tall and that's how I got my 11. Point Four seven nine, and then I just attached both of those together and I attached the pink flowers so I did on the pink flower I used this really pretty one picked raspberry and I went around the edges of my flowers quite a bit I, I did them some of them darker than others so now we're just going to take this Got to find a place to lay it and attach this back down on our base layer. So I left it about a quarter of an inch from the bottom, just like that. And then I just kind of centered it between the two sides. And then I just laid that down. Now, again, don't forget this already has adhesive on it. Even though you used undo, it still stays sticky. So I don't have to worry about that. And also, because I'm using this glue here, this adhesive, the Tombow, this one here is repositionable. Um, so if I had just put this down, I would have some wiggle room. But it's also great if you want to go ahead and add adhesive, lay it down, let it dry, complete, like just let it dry. And then when you go to put it down, it's still sticky. It doesn't dry out. So that's really good. Okay, so now we've got our base. We've got our 12 by four and a quarter. If you don't have this scalloped edge, just go with a straight edge. Or if you have a paper punch, go with that. And then we have our blue grass and our green grass and our flowers. So far that looks lovely. Now I'm going to do the same on this page. Just so I can move around some of my pieces here. So I left this blue one attached when I was taking it apart simply because I ran out of my undo. I'm going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch on the bottom and just kind of center it there like that. And then we're just going to put that down there. There you go. I get that back up. There we go. Just to straighten that out a little. Perfect. There. Oop. Tree trunk. All right. Now let's see what we can do next. So our paper, our photo mats, I did cut these with just a regular paper trimmer. So this is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Your inside mat is cut at six by four. And there's four of those. For the corners, I wanted my corners to be a little bit fancy this time. So I'm going to show you in just a moment what I did to get those corners. So this is my crocodile corner chomper. And it had, comes with two different chompers. <laughs> two different decorative edges. So all you have to do is lay it down, open it up. Let me get a piece of scrap paper here and I'll show you exactly what I did with this. 
And then I wanted my mine to be a photo corner. So I put my piece of paper straight in and then gave it a chump. And there you go. I don't know if you can. So this is the positive side so that when you put it down onto the cardstock, your background, it makes this look like the corner, as you can see. So I did that on all of my photo mats and I did, then there's four of those. And then I adhered my orange to my blue. Now I hope I didn't stick that down there. There we go. All right, now let's see. This one looks like it went, I just gotta feel it because I know that it I'm just going to lay that one right there for just a moment because I have other pieces to put on. And then down in this corner here, I want to put my picnic table. Now this picnic table um, is three pieces, two pieces, two different color reds, and then this pencil color yellow is what I'm going to call it. And I did ink the yellow with rusty hinge and my reds, both my reds, I inked with barn door. And then I put them all together. Um, when you're putting them together, the open ends face you. The closed ends are away from you on all three of these pieces. All right, now, let me see if I have the size for this. Um, I do have it. So this is actually cut, it, again, we're into those weird sizes. So it comes out at 4.949 by 2.946. So I'm thinking five by three, and then that's what it comes out to. And then that's just going to lay right there. I'm not going to pop it up. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I just want it to sit so that it looks as if it's further away from you, the way it's laid. I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to lay that one right there. And that looks pretty good, actually, as far as placement goes. And then I have a little ant. Oh my goodness, wait till you see my little ant. I just gotta find the little ant. Oh, there he is. Okay. Look at this little ant. Isn't it just a cutie? Little watermelon. I think it's just called watermelon eating ant. <laughs> so the green on the watermelon uh, and the green on the grass are the same as this grass here. So again, trying to keep it simple. The pink for the watermelon, the pink for his little smiley face. Same as this pink here. Okay, so now let me see. Um, he's going to go over here. I'll get you the sizes. Oh, let me show you this. So on the back, this is going to be glued down, but his head has a pop dot. So he's actually going to be looking like he's kind of sitting because he's sitting on the grass and I wanted him to look like that. I wanted him to have that kind of a, a look about him. So there he is. He can go right there. Oh, I just love these little critters. Um, I'm going to get you the, to the measurements for him with 2.231 by 3.165. Again, crazy measurements. I'm sure I didn't just randomly pick these numbers. Um, 
but that's what it is. So he's going to go right there. And then over here, we're going to put another photo mat. So let me just find my other photo mat. Oh, here's one. Oh, this one's got other stuff attached to it. There we go. I know, this one's a hot mess. I told you. Everything's everywhere now because I don't want it to be stuck to itself. So I did want... Ah! Okay, you stay right there. I did want my picnic table to be on top of my photo mat. So I'm just going to put that right. Just going to make sure there's no adhesive anywhere that needs to get recovered. Put that right there. And that one can go right here. Just like, oh, it's not very straight. There we go. As I do these videos, I've come to kind of appreciate that we might need to do a, a separate video on how to put all of these little pieces together. They're not hard, but they, they do take a little bit of time. And oh, see, she's really stuck down there now. Oh, come on. But yeah, if that's something you'd like to see, let me know. And I'd be more than happy to uh, do a video showing how we put all these pieces together. There we go. That's, oh no, she's not straight yet. I'm going to have to add a little more adhesive to her, I think. Let's get you straight. I'm kind of fussy that way. I don't want it to be, I like it to be straight. There we go. That's better. She will stick back together. And I just need to lay her aside. We're not quite ready for her yet. So we're not finished over here. But yes, if you want to see me show you how to put these pieces all together, then I'll be more than happy to do that. Now, part of my title is this Picnic in the Park. So I did a search in Design Space. I, I think I just put in the word picnic. And this came up. It looks similar to the one that's in Design Space, but I, I changed it quite a bit. In Design Space, this has two or three offsets that were quite large. It had some sun, no, maybe clouds stuck to it. It had ants walking up to the word park. It was too big and too much for this layout. But I really liked the picnic in the park. So I ungrouped it. I deleted all the ants. I got rid of all the offsets and the clouds, and I just left myself with Picnic in the Park. And then I highlighted that, and I created another offset. And it turned out perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And I pop dotted that up. Now, when originally I had this down, I didn't use all the little, I didn't need that to be stuck down as much. It's not going anywhere. So I'll take those off now. So I'm just going to put that on just like so. There you go. That works. So this page here looks to be just about done. Okay, so I'm going to move this one over. And we're going to do this one. So we went ahead... Just gonna move all my pieces so we can see what we've done so far. Okay, so we have our 12 by four and a quarter on here. This is our sky. We've put down our grasses and our flowers and we've attached our flowers. We've inked them and attached them. So those are good. Ooh, very sticky. Okay, so that's good there. So for this one, my photo mats are going to go. I can even still see 
on here. I don't know if you guys can. Um, the residue. So all I need to do is put that on there. Like that. If it's not straight, we can fix it. There we go. So again, that's six and a quarter by four and a quarter, six by four, and then the we are memory keepers, corner chomper for the corners. And then I do have another one. Let me go. It's hiding in there. And this one's gonna go down here, just like so, about the same in from the edge. But I do want to be able to see my flowers. So I'm gonna put that one right there. And then we have our sun. So this sun, it's measured as a square in design space. And when I uploaded it originally, it had some clouds attached and other bits and pieces. So I just ungrouped them and only picked the pieces that I wanted and left me with this sun. Now the sun doesn't have this back piece. I just created an offset because I wanted to pop up my face, the face of the sun. So I just put a pop dot in there. There we go. So this needs to go in here and there's some pop dots on there. So I'm gonna see now if I can, how about just like that. Now I did ink the edges of this. I used mustard seed. You don't want to be hungry when you're doing these. All these different kinds of raspberries and mustards and yeah. So anyway, that's, <laughs> I must be hungry. Um, and then this one here, I didn't pop dot, just the inside one. My the out, this one here is pop dotted up and I didn't use them all the last time. So I'm gonna take one off just to give it a little extra there. And then, oh, I had a hard time getting this guy back into that circle. So I'm gonna use my tweezers and just tuck it in. It's just got, there we go. Tuck that in just like so. And then we can, I want to tell you how, what the size of this. So the size of the sun is cut at four. So the height actually comes out at 4.087. I, I, I don't know. Let's just leave it. We'll go with it. It works. So we're good. Now we have a tree stump which I cut out of a piece of um, scrap paper. Oh, there's my doggy. Out of a piece of scrap paper. So, and I didn't have any brown to, for the top of the tree stem, so I used a piece of cream and then I used walnut stain along the cream and I did along the edges and I'm like, okay, so now we have a walnut tree. Oopsie daisy. All right, let's glue this down here. I'm having a heck of a time with this layout, I tell you. It's uh, proven to be a bit of a challenge, even though it was so it, it was meant to be quite simple. Now our little girl, teddy bear, in design space, when I designed this, there's actually a boy version of her. So if you're doing this for boys, all you have to do is change the color of your flowers, maybe make them match these, and use the boy one. He does not have the bow tie, the bow in his hair. He has a bow around his neck, and he's super cute. Again, popping this one up because I want this to be at a different height and I want it to be back further so I want to be able to tree see my tree stump 
Oh boy. Okay, I just, I keep laughing at this layout. It was quite the, quite the challenge for me today and yesterday. I meant to have this one up. I wanted to have this one up last night. But I guess somebody had other plans for me. All right, there we go. Now, I think, <laughs> I think we have everything attached. No, we didn't do the clouds. I wanted to show you these clouds. So these were a part of the sun and I just took them apart and made them different sizes. So I have two of these clouds and I have to get this little thing. I have a, a, a stencil but then afterwards, I was like, I can just use the back. And this is where I was testing out the different colors. So all I needed to do, you see, this is the back. All I needed to do was take my smaller one, put it on top, kind of like a mask of this one. And I'm just going to show you on this piece of scrap what I did. So... I'm going to use the back and I'll show you on the back. I just laid that down there. Now you want to make sure that you're holding both of them because it will move around and you don't really want that. And then I took my Mermaid Lagoon and I inked up my nice brush. And so we're inking this one. So I start over here and I just give it a go. Just like that. So it's going to be darker near the edge and it's going to fade away as you go up. It's perfectly fine to leave some white. It just makes it look really nice. Now I'm gonna take this off and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so just like that. Now when I take it off, it leaves a bump, leaves a, an outline. And then I can just take it and move it like that turn it around so that I'm not using the same one over and over. See if I don't have it, it moves. And then go like that. And now I've got a different design. And in the end, if I wanted to, if I didn't want the white, I can just lightly color that in like that. And that's how you get this <laughs> and this that's how you get those two this one here I wasn't sure I almost went with the pink in there I was going to do the pink and the blue but in the end I went with just the blue now I don't know if I'm actually going to even use them I mean they are kind of cute I think I'll just lay that there and see how I feel about that in the end excuse my reach Let's put all my stuff back. Okay, so. So this one is going to be called Teddy Bear Picnic. So I've got a teddy bear and a picnic in the park. Maybe an antenna cut. I might need to squish down your little antennas. And then this cloud could go... I guess I could have put it anywhere. You can tuck it in behind. But it's a little bit big. I think I'm going to not use that one. This one I'm not sure about yet. That one, oh, I want to be able to see my scallop so it can't go there. No. I think I'll wait on those. I'm going to save those for a different project. This looks perfect just the way it is. Okay, guys. That's going to be it for this one today. This one, like I said, was a real challenge. It was a hot mess, so to speak. And I really, I, I really enjoy it. I think it turned out super cute. If you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. Like and subscribe and share and do all those things. I know I ask a lot, but I do appreciate it if you could do those things for me. And until the next time, and there, 
I've got a couple of more ready to go. I just have to do the filming. And until then, oh, and the, the dyes, the inks do leave color on your hand. So I know a lot of people wear gloves when they do them. Um, I don't bother. So until the next time, we will see you then. Bye.